Let's take a look at how you would die on every planet in our solar system, rating them on livability from instant death to a couple minutes. Number 1. Mercury With this planet being extremely close to the sun, it makes your choice on where to land extremely dire. Because if you land on the side closer to the sun, you'll be immediately hit with 800 degrees Fahrenheit, which considering humans can only live at up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit, this 800 degrees Fahrenheit will most definitely boil your skin, causing your face to peel off instantly, and not even sunscreen would help you. On the darker side of Mercury, it can go down to negative 300 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about three times colder than Antarctica. But people live in Antarctica, so I guess grabbing a nice blanket and a cup of cocoa would definitely help. Your massive amount of frostbite, turning your fingers black, and your lips blue. With everything hurting more in the cold, so make sure you don't stub your toe. Now, the best course of action would definitely be to land in the middle, in which you could have the best sides of both cold and heat, making sort of a middle ground in which you could possibly survive for more than a second. And with days on Mercury being the equivalent to 88 days on Earth, you would have plenty of time to do whatever you wanted on your cold, barren planet. As long as that didn't include having water, because this place is as dry as a desert, leading you to die very thirsty with not a drop of water in sight. I'm sure that this would be the least of your worries though, considering how there's also plasma tornadoes on this planet. Now, these tornadoes are slightly different from Earth, with them being un able to be seen. So instead of it being like your house randomly getting tore up on Earth, it would instead fling you up in the air randomly, having literally no signs. And since Mercury is so close to the sun, this will definitely be accompanied with radiation, causing horrible physical deformities, but at least gravity is somewhat similar to Earth, so you would actually be floating a little bit, so maybe that will cushion your fall. So overall, I would give this planet a 2 on the livability score. Number 2, Venus. As you landed on this planet, you would see massive clouds of sulfuric acid. As you hit the surface, you'll be greeted with 900 degrees Fahrenheit as a surface temperature, causing 4th degree burns instantly, and to everything but your bones being completely burnt and turned to ash. This would happen while you experienced an extreme amount of pressure, being equivalent to a mile underwater, which is enough to crush anyone's dreams of living. With strong winds whipping around your ears, it would be an extremely loud noise, with acid rain also being involved. And of course, if that wasn't enough, there's also lightning storms Storms, driven by volcano eruptions, which happen extremely frequently on this planet. So since you would be dead within seconds of living on this planet, I would suggest you strike a pose in order for your bones to leave a mark for someone to find. However, it isn't all bad because if you were to stay just inside of the clouds in a sort of Among Us balloon type thing, then you would actually have a great time. Because unlike the surface, the sky only reaches around negative 15 degrees Fahrenheit, which is totally survivable. The pressure would obviously still be a problem, but as long as you're not skipping leg day and working out a lot, I'm sure you'd be fine. I give this a livability score of around 2. Number 3, Earth. Despite all humans dying here, it's definitely one of the safest planets. And almost like a little break from this video, since the only ways of dying are old age, obviously nothing else, because humans don't die from horrific things every day and literally kill each other. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna give this a... 4 out of livability rating. Number 4, Mars. This very red planet is not very hot, with the temperatures on the surface being around negative 2 degrees Fahrenheit. It's honestly pretty chilly. You would definitely want to bring a nice coat and maybe some boots. And with Mars's days being around 25 hours, which is pretty close to Earth's, you'd have pretty much the exact same night and day cycle, but much longer years, with the years being double that of Earth. Now, this planet is actually pretty feasible to live on, with it having a pretty thin atmosphere atmosphere though, you definitely want to have sunscreen on at all times in order to prevent yourself from getting cancer, but you would definitely get cancer way more often than Earth. However, while you're there, you'll be able to see some pretty great sights, with Mars having the biggest mountain inside of the entire solar system. And this mountain is also a volcano, so I would make sure you stay a little bit far away, but I'm sure you'd have very great hikes, especially with the low air pressure, you'd be able to slightly float or weigh less, so you wouldn't even have to worry about losing any weight on this planet. There's also polar ice caps filled with carbon dioxide, which you would definitely have fun exploring. But what you will be worrying about is the massive dust storms that can be as big as continents on it that can get inside of your eyes, your throat, causing extreme coughing, which is all around just a bad experience if you've ever had sand in your eye. This will definitely be way worse, since these dust storms can last for a very long time. Overall, I give this planet a livability score of 3. Number 5, Jupiter. Unlike the before-mentioned planets, this planet actually 
has no surface, meaning whenever you landed on this planet, you would just immediately be falling around 30 miles per hour, and this planet is extremely large with it being double the size of all the planets combined, so you would have a very hard time actually getting to the complete center of it. And as you fell, you would be immediately hit with extreme turbulence, getting sucked into different jet streams, flinging you sidewards, upside down in any way possible. With it also being a chilling negative 200 degrees Fahrenheit, you would basically be an icicle flying around. And the pressure would be more than the Mariana Trench, which is the deepest place on Earth. You would expect the colors of white and orange brown clouds as you fell and died, but you would be extremely unlucky if you saw red, considering how there's a massive red spot on the planet, and which is the biggest storm in the entire solar system. Called the Great Red Spot, it has been turning for over 300 years and has speeds up to 425 miles per hour, which is far more than even a hurricane on Earth. And we all know how devastating hurricanes can be, the red spot would definitely be the worst place to be, immediately ripping away at your organs and causing you to get splattered everywhere, getting ripped apart by the winds. I give Jupiter a livability score of zero, for obvious reasons. Number six, Saturn. There really isn't much to this planet that's very different from Jupiter, with it having extremely high speed winds and no surface. So you would again fall straight to this planet, getting ripped apart, with the planet having a sort of yellowish brown color as you die. On survivability, I give Saturn a zero. Number seven, Uranus. Despite its extremely funny name, Uranus is no joke. Its atmosphere's composition is helium, nitrogen, and methane, leading to an absolutely horrible stench as soon as you attempted to land, since methane is basically what farts are. So I guess the name actually does make sense. With wind speeds reaching up to 560 miles per hour though, you'll definitely be ripped apart and shredded as you head towards the middle of the planet, which of course does not have a surface. So you would never reach it, dying and freezing to death before you ever do. I give Uranus a zero on the survivability score. Number eight, Neptune. Despite this planet being blue and Neptune also being the god of the sea, this planet definitely has no seas and has no surface, just like the before mentioned ones. Meaning you would again fall through this planet at insane speeds and get whipped around until your body was shredded into ground human. I give Neptune a zero on the survivability score. Number nine, Pluto. Now even though Pluto is not technically considered a planet, I feel like it deserves to be on this list because it is a planet in all of our hearts. This planet would have massive structures of ice, vast plains, and massive ice mountains. With it being almost negative 400 degrees Fahrenheit, it would be an extremely hard place to survive, with you instantly getting frostbite and then permafrost on your hands and your feet, freezing you completely, forever intertwining you with Pluto, and of course if you manage to survive the temperature, then the radiation will cause you massive deformities as it has little to no solar radiation protection, with it also having solar winds causing you to be whipped around. But at least you have low gravity so you'll be able to bounce around and jump on this planet in the air. On the survivability score, I give this planet a 1. Overall, Earth is probably your best bet for surviving on a planet. I'm in your walls. Goodbye.